Now that we've covered the common characteristics that you find in a boom bap type of beat, I want to approach this particular track by creating the drums first. Now, by no means is this a hard rule. I think you should start with what inspires you. And, and I don't always work this way either. I don't start with the drums often, quite honestly. It just depends on uh, which direction I'm going or how I'm starting. If I'm working with a sample based track, a lot of times I'll start with the sample and let the sample kind of direct everything else that I do in the production of that. Um, sometimes I start with the bass line. I might come up with a funky bass line or a funky melody uh, or some type of groove and, and then go from there and build on top of it. Um, but in, in this case, uh, specifically because one of the main characteristics of the boom bap track that we talked about is the, the swinging drums. I wanted to start with the drums and then build on top of that as my foundation. And so to do so, I'm going to go ahead and create a, a project inside of Logic. And I want to set some parameters right off the bat in creating the project. We're going to create an empty project. So you see here in the project chooser, um, I have empty project selected. But I'm going to click this disclosure triangle here and go to the details. I can set the tempo inside the project, but I can also set it right here in the details. And we said the characteristic or the common characteristics of a tempo of a boom bap track is in the mid 80s to mid 90s. So I'm going to start this at, let's start at 88 and then we'll work our way from there. We can always adjust it once we're in the project. Um, I'm going to stick with the 4-4 uh, time signature. Uh, I'm going to change my audio interface to my uh, Universal Audio Apollo as the input and output device. And I have my sample rate set at 48K, uh, which is pretty standard uh, when I'm working on music. Sometimes I'll operate at a higher sample rate, um, just depending on how much um, digital editing I might do or stretching audio to the limits, I'll go to a much higher sample rate. But in this case, 48K should suffice. And let me pull this up on the screen a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Okay, so once I do that, then Logic asks me to choose a track type. And in this case, I'm going to start with the software instrument track. And I am going to go ahead and leave the instrument on an empty channel strip and say create. So Logic creates an empty software instrument track. And in this case, I am going to go to my library over here on the left hand side of my screen. If your library isn't showing, you can always go here into your control bar and you can click this to show and hide your library or you can use the shortcut Y to show and hide your library. 